Hello folks. Uh, I've been thinking about um, what is the skill set required to, to really crack quant. Not from topic wise thing, not from um, temperamental strength and grit and discipline and motivation all that. But from like how do I approach the paper? How what are the what am I what should be my thought process to have clarity and to to, to have a good go at the section. Right? So in my mind that three important skill sets uh, built around how the quant paper is. Right? So typically quant paper has two kinds of questions. I'm gonna for want of a better word, I'm gonna say regular questions and slightly non-routine. And so regular questions are questions on, I won't say template form like, but uh, on, 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 a, on, a, on a kind of familiar structure. And there is nothing that is template form like. There's no question these days where you say, you take this formula, plug it in, then you get the answer. If that is there, that is often a starting point for something to build on, something to be built on from there. And so when I say regular, structures that we know about, you look at the question and go, look, I have to think about allegations, we we'll do this and think about it. You look at the question and you go higher relative speed and then have to be careful about these things. So regular questions and then non-routine, something offbeat. And what is, how should one go about attacking this and this? What does the skill set required for this is to grab patterns, slip into one autopilot mode, see it through. There's probably a time consuming questions on a definable template. And so, so you, it may take you two and a half minutes to crack it. but if you have done your drill, you know you're on top of fundas, then you can take two and a half minutes and you can be confident that you'll get it right. You have to solve two equations, simplify that, take plus or minus, think about modulus, be careful about distinct positive integers, all of that, but you know the game. You know what you're doing, doing it, executing it as effortlessly as possible, as routinely as possible, and as quickly as possible. This requires strong fundas. And so, being able to look at a question that looks like a geometry question and then say, look, it's actually talking about numbers here. Or it, it morphs into an inequality question if I'm just a little careful about the fact that this has to be an obtuse angle triangle. And then you go into that territory and simplify that. And so uh, you, where, where the funda is non-obvious and then where the method is not obvious and strong fundamentals are required to attack this. And so what in, in an exam context, uh, three things are important for us to have a very good speed in attacking the simple questions to have strong fundas to be able to approach at least a few of these and to have the wit and the wisdom and the sharpness to identify what is what what is what typically half the questions fall into this bucket half the questions fall into this bucket really juicy delightful wonderfully challenging quant papers have more here regular slightly boring papers have more here obviously i like it when there are more questions like this and fewer like this that's my own bias typically it breaks half and half and so if you're a student preparing for cat and you're really struggling with quant you should be saying look half my questions are here i there are 10 11 12 questions give or take i'll attempt eight of them get six of them right i'm good to go this i don't get it i don't have i don't have that gear in me if you're the kind of student that says 99, 99.5, 99.6, that's where I want to be headed. You'll be like, I should get eight of these and then four of those. And so, so skill set wise, you need to build speed to knock routine, regular, matter of factly, straightforward structure, templatized questions out of the park. You need to have strong fun days to navigate this and you need to hone your decision making skills to ensure that you can identify this versus this, start with this, then go to that. You get caught in a beautifully interesting, exciting, wonderful, juicy question which involves uh, geometric shapes and probability uh, with, the, with the Cartesian plane and you're just so happy seeing it. It's a lovely question. It's so nice. And then you take four minutes to solve it because it's challenging and you're unraveling things. You're enjoying that question, but you simply shouldn't be poking around that in a mock cat framework. So you finish this and then come there. So three skill sets to work on. Have good, good automaticity, good amount of drill and practice to just knock these off. Very important. That's your anchor point. Right? 
have good decision making ability to look at a question and say do you go here or there immediately and then jump in and solve these then have a gear in you that gives you a chance to attack 25% of these or 30% of these or 50% of these you cannot say 10 questions here 12 questions there of these 10 i can attempt eight uh, i've attempted eight maybe one or two are wrong i'm done then you can't go go higher you need this also your strategy cannot be entirely around this for clearing section cutoffs if quant is not your strong section if you're not really comfortable poking around here then this is sufficient but if you're even slightly ambitious both are required and so so three skill sets the ability to automatically in autopilot rapidly without getting out of bed effortlessly knock these get better and better at looking at questions and saying do they fall here or here and build that gear to attack at least 50 60 percent of these and in our workshop we're going to be focusing on building all three skill sets so the plan is to have 12 to 15 questions in each test uh, with half being here half being here half being placed for look look at the question know the fundamental right the answer go ahead go do it quickly half being placed for carrying something a little bit more something quirky and something one more layer added to it so identify the simpler ones knock them off quickly improve your decision making finish that off really quickly hover up some time and then come back and have a stab at this which is what your strategy should be in your in the exam hall as well we're going to hone three skill sets speed for routine questions decision making to distinguish between this and that and uh, fundamental strength for having a, a gear in you to attack these to give you a cricketing parallel team that is chasing 200 and your opposition team has uh, two fantastic bowlers i know out of the top of my hat who can i say uh, boomerang and tail stain they're there they're going to bowl eight out of the 20 overs in a t20 match you would score 200 fine you need guys who can tonk the remaining 12 overs for 140 or 130 but identify them target them bully them and those 12 overs you need to get 130 140 you need guys who can still have enough in them to take even these eight overs for 60 or 70 you cannot say i'm going to get bowled over by these i lose three wickets apiece to boomerang and strain and the eight overs i'll be 42 for six and you, this can't happen and so you need ability to stand up to the, the big, tough, juicy, fundamentally challenging, conceptually quirky questions and ability to just bully these routine ones and tonk them and do it rapidly without getting out of bed and know what to target, what to respect. And so we're going to uh, have a session for that, that doubles down on trying to build all three skill sets. I'm rather looking forward to this. Uh, we're hoping to see quite a few of you there. Um, 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 uh, we should have some fun. We should definitely have some fun. Cheers, guys. Best wishes. <laughs>